I was just on my way to the library to return these books. I checked out a Bible in every language because I want to be wise in God's word. But you know what? The kids team told me that I don't have to read a Bible in every language in order to be wise. All I have to do is pray for wisdom. And you know what kids? That's going to be our lesson for this week. Pray for wisdom. So. I'm gonna take these books back to the library and I can't wait to come back to watch today's service. Are you excited? Awesome, let's go. What's up boys and girls? It's so awesome to see you guys again. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Sam, I'm Gallo's brother. Believe it or not, I'm the older one, even though he's bigger. But today I'm gonna to bring you the memory verse, so I'm gonna read it along and you follow along too, okay? James 1, 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. I'm gonna read that again, because that was good. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Shoo! That is a great, great verse. I want you guys to think about that. They have some great stuff for you, but remember that verse because it's gonna come in later. Hey! Yo! We are here today to play another game. It's game time, baby. My favorite time of the day. Wanna know why? What time is it? Because I always win! Uh, that wasn't a very good delivery. Yeah, that, that wasn't. But uh, anyways, we are playing a game today called Raisin the Bar. Because we have raisins, get it? So we have six boxes of raisins here. Three belong to Gallo, three belong to me, and we have some sparkling water bottles. Yummy. And they are flipped over on the raisin boxes, like so. So yes. the goal of this, we each have to flick the raisin boxes from underneath the bottles, and the bottles can't fall, they have to go straight down. If it falls, you have to try again. Um, and yeah, first I want to get through three wins. Whew. I'm kind of nervous about this one, because he's pretty confident about it, and I don't know how to feel right now. You know me, guys. I come in hot. Okay, I'm, I'm nervous I'm not going to win. Okay. But you'd be surprised that this actually works. Yeah, it does. So I didn't think it would, but yeah. I, I watched the video, and I was like, wow, they did it. <laughs> so we're going to try it. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I think he's ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, I didn't count. No, none of mine counted. Guys, this is embarrassing. What? Ow, this is hurting my finger. I can't even do it. I don't know why mine's not standing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Did you get all three? No, I figured oh. out the technique though. What? I figured it out too late. Wait, I want to see if I can. I thought I was gonna get all three in a row. I thought so. Too. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. I thought it, it, sta it like was standing up and then it like fell. Well. I thought you won because I saw all of them standing up and I was like, I'm, I should have just gone with it. I'm a failure. Oh, you see that? See that? That is cheap. Anyways, good game, Gallo. I kind of knew you were gonna win anyways, and uh, whatever. It is what it is. I'll I almost broke sweat. Not gonna lie, Speedy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay. in the second half. Yeah. See, I thought I had a chance to catch up because you kept messing up on that last one. The last one! I figured one. out the technique. Yeah. But it's fine. Next time I will win. Um, and I'm saying that right now. So, yeah. We are going to continue in today's service. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Play it at home if you can. For real. And record it. Show it to us. We Tell us. And you're going to have a fun time. And we're going to keep having fun in the service. Bye, guys. Susie? Yeah, Grandpa? I've been thinking all about today's word and how excited I am because we're talking all about wisdom and you know what the Bible says about gray hairs, right? What does it say? It says they equal wisdom. Wow. Shh. Grandpa? Shh. Oh, oh. oh, they also mean that you get tired a lot quicker. Oh, wow. <gasps> I know something that'll wake you up, though. What is that? Worship! Ah, uh, you're so 
Oh, wise Susie, that's such a great choice. I love worship. Me I get too. to talk to God and tell him how happy I am that he's in my life. Wow. Are you ready to do that today, Susie? I sure am. All right, let's worship. Yes. Awesome is that song. It's so simple. There is one way, and that way is Jesus. Want to know why? Because Jesus is one of the most, no, he is the most smartest and wise person that we ever can lean on and follow. And that's why Jesus is always the way. Jesus is the answer. And that's why this week we're talking about praying for that wisdom, asking Jesus in those times of need for guidance, for help. And Jesus is always the way. So in this moment after that amazing worship experience, I'm going to invite you guys to accept Jesus in your hearts. The one, the one who sets the way for us, the ones that we can lean on and ask for that help. And it's super simple. All you guys have to do is just close your eyes right now and just repeat after me. Everyone say, Dear Jesus, I believe that you were sent on this earth to die on the cross for my sins 
and rose again three days later. I ask for your wisdom, and I know that I can do all things because I am your child. Amen. Awesome, guys. If you guys prayed that prayer for the very first time, we have a special gift for you, and all you guys have to do is click the link in the bio, and this gift is just gonna help you grow in your faith because you guys made the best decision ever. I know every single week we're always saying that, but it's honestly the easiest and yet best decision ever of your life, accepting Jesus in your life for the very first time. So this is a very big deal. The angels in heaven are praising and going crazy, and I'm happy for you, and we want you as Life Changers kids to grow in that. But we love you guys. Let's keep on going with our service. my tool for this week. But before I share it with you, do you remember our mission for this week? Excellent! Our mission this week is to pray for wisdom. John 1.5 tells us, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously without finding fault, and he will give it to you. You know, Wisdom is something that we all have access to, but we have to choose to receive it. God won't force it on you. And you know, there are a lot of other things in this world too that we have access to, but we don't have to use them. One of those things I have here in my briefcase. Can I share it with you? Excellent! Oh, it's still in here. water! Isn't that cool? I brought it from a very long way. Well, it just came from outside, but it felt very long to me. Anyway, water is one of those things we all have access to, but we don't have to use it. We could choose to be thirsty instead of drinking from our water bottle, or we can let our plants wither and die instead of watering them. Water makes things better, right? Wisdom is just like that. Wisdom makes things better too. Let me show you how. Here we go. Here I have two vases, one with water and one without. And there's an arrow pointing to bad decisions. This vase right here represents ourselves before we ask God for wisdom. You see, without wisdom, we often make bad decisions and get ourselves into trouble. That's not fun, is it? Definitely not. But let's see what happens when we pray and ask God for wisdom in our lives. Whoa, do you see that? Our bad decision making turned into good decision making. Do you see it? When we pray and ask God for wisdom, we can be sure that our lives will change for the better. God will give us wisdom generously, and all we have to do is ask. This has been so much fun, kids. I can't wait to show you my new tool next week. Bye. Servant, I am off to Gibeon. Let no one disturb me. I am going to offer this sacrifice to the Lord. My son, ask for whatever you want me to give you. Lord, my God, you have made me a servant king in place of my father David. But yet, I am a child, and I do not know how to carry these duties of mine. Please, Lord, give me the ability to rule 
over your people, to be able to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to watch over these great people of yours? Since you have asked for this, and not for long life or wealth for yourself, nor have asked for the death of your enemies, but for discernment in administering justice, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart, so that there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. Lord, my God, thank you! This is the best day of my life. Athikio! Yes, Your Highness! The Lord has appeared to me in a dream. Prepare a sacrifice right now! Of course, Your Highness! Thank you. Wow, what a story! King Solomon asked God for wisdom so that he could lead his people wisely. But not only did he receive wisdom, he also received wealth and honor. And he didn't even have to ask for that. What a generous God we serve. You know, we can also pray and ask God for wisdom. James 1, 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. We saw how generously God gave to Solomon, which means that he can give us wisdom too, whenever we ask. So whether you're confused or you don't know what to do, when we ask God for wisdom, he is pleased and he will give it to us. Well, that's our story for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. What's up, kids? It's Sophia here. I hope that you guys have been enjoying today's topic of praying for wisdom. I know I enjoyed today's service. And fun fact, my name actually means wisdom. So look at that. It's perfect. Uh, but as you guys can see, I'm in a coffee shop, one of my favorite places to go. I love drinking coffee and just sitting back and like relaxing and thinking about life. And I was thinking the other day about the story from when I was little. So when I was in about first grade, I think it was, there was a kid in my class who was kind of mean to me and I really didn't understand why because it's not like I was doing anything to them I was just going about my day trying to get my work done but they were just kind of mean they were kind of a bully but I went home that day and I was like God can you please help me understand what's going on and show me how to handle this situation so I basically went home and asked God for wisdom on how to deal with it and he said just be nice to them and I will turn the situation around for good so I was like, okay, I guess it's not always that easy to be nice to people that are being mean to you, but God told me to do it, so we're going to do it, right? So the next day, went back to school, and I was nice to them, even though they were still trying to be mean to me, and God was able to turn that situation around for good because I asked him to help me. Then we ended up becoming very close friends, and I'm still friends with them to this day, all because I asked God for wisdom on how to deal with the situation. That reminds me of today's big point. It says, when, when you ask God for wisdom, he is pleased and will give it to you. All we have to do is ask God. We don't have to go and do this long prayer and beg and plead. We just have to ask him because he's there and he's listening. And that's what this series is all about. Understanding that prayer is not some weird, crazy thing. Prayer is just talking to God and having a conversation. And when you talk to him, he's gonna answer you and he's gonna give you the wisdom that you ask for. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope you guys can relate to my story. And yeah, I'm going to go get some more coffee, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Amazing. How wonderful is it to know that we don't have to read a thousand books or go to school forever in order for us to be wise. All we have to do is pray to God, and he'll give us wisdom. Isn't that amazing? I know, right? Well, kids, let's go over our can-do phrase for this week. Repeat after me. I can ask God for wisdom in every situation. Amen. Well, kids, I hope you've had a great time just like I have. But before we go, I want to remind you, we'll be having an in-person kid service on Sunday, May 2nd. I know, I'm excited too. So ask your parents to register you online at lifechangerschurch.com slash in person. 
But don't worry, if you don't live close to the church and can't come in person, we do have some ways to keep you engaged as well online. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you back here on Friday for our Kids Connect video. Bye kids!